you mentioned the Atlantic, which is owned by a tech oligarch, Steve Jobs' widow, mm -hmm. and almost everything bad in the country is financed by the richest people in the country, I've noticed, the oligarchs. And so all the money is kind of arrayed against the population of mm -hmm. the country. That worries me. Can you throw off the oak if the oak has, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars? I think we are, thanks to Elon Musk. I mean, you can say what you want about Elon Musk with all his past activities. and He's trying to dominate every technological sector. But it, Christ said, judge a tree by its fruits. Yes. And the last two years, let's say it's a 360, like right here is New World Order and right here is Total Patriot. Musk was already over here. He wasn't a bad guy, but he wasn't perfect. He's moved basically a, a, three, a, 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 a 180. Yeah. So he's uh, like, like Alec. I mean, look, you're you're the biggest guy in media. No, you know, no, no, no. It's true. Let's just go, let's go. It's not about bragging. It's true. You're the biggest con mainline, you know, talk show host. Well, I say mainline professional show. Okay, and there's a lot of people under you like me. Elon Musk is way bigger than both of us. He's reaching t 100 million, 200 million people a day with stuff. You would say, I would say, he's devastating them. You don't do that if you're with them. So Elon Musk is definitely for real. Because you can't argue with the with the results, right? Okay, right. that's just the way the universe works. Th this is being powered by X right now. I should just say, yeah, no, exactly. So, and he's not censoring us. No, in fact, he's boosting us, so, probably. So, so the point is, by boosting, getting out of the way. So they are they've already lost the culture war. So you can just say Musk. Maybe he's an opportunist. He sees the old systems going down. He's shifting over. That's if he's a bad guy. If he's a good guy, he really cares about us and is a humanitarian and a bleeding heart for freedom and, and has joined us. But you can't argue with what he's done. But but back to the violence, they have nothing they can do now but violence. And so we are entering that that wheelhouse. We, we, we are entering that zone where they're telling us we're violent. They're telling us we're evil. They're telling us we're white supremacists. We're not. And so it's obvious that that is about to basically unfold. But I want to tell the establishment – Five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, you'd stage a false flag or provocateur or something. It worked. It doesn't work on thinking people now, and it works on less people every day. So I would just advise the globals give up. So you're um, pretty famous, not famous enough for seeing events in some detail ahead of time. You're the only person, I think, in the world who called 9-11 in detail. You're on tape doing it. They're going to fly planes in the World Trade Centers and blame bin Laden. That's what you said. I played the tape. So given, I mean, given your demonstrated ability to get a pretty clear sight picture of the future, where do you think we are in five years? We're either in heaven or hell. It's the best of times or worst of times. Tell two cities. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. We are in the crossroads right now. We were, we're going across the point overturn, and we have maximum effort to expose the evil and be honest ourselves about the problems we have and really try to empower people and reach out across political lines and, 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 and really turn things around, we have unlimited potential. But I would have to say, if you look into the future, and it's, it's not like into a crystal ball, it's just all the political lines, all the data, it, it's a very, I wouldn't say a probability, but near probability nuclear war. And I have four children. One of them is six years old. It, 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 I, I have nightmares about this because I know this is real. I, I, don't agree, just, I agree with you. I don't say this for, for like fear porn. I mean, I, yes. I, mainline analysts, the atomic... You know, scientist group says we're two minutes to midnight. It's the closest it's ever been, or, or like I think like a minute to midnight. Uh, and 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 so we have to turn this around because we are entering the system where 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 we're entering the the house of destruction, and we're so close. So the Chinese proverb of live in interesting times is both positive and negative. We're in very interesting times. The most interesting probably ever in human history. We have like godlike power, but we're actually decadent slobs, myself included. And so really it's all up to us right now. We are at that point of decision. And if we can get past the partisanship, but that doesn't mean then embrace the globalists and the corporate fascists. No, reject them. And as populists, Christians, conservatives, Hindus, Jews, Christians, Muslims, reject BlackRock, reject Klaus Schwab, reject Naval Noah Harari, who says the future is not human and we're obsolete and robots will run our lives in a decade. No, we humans are the only species that truly controls this environment. 
So he wants us just to decide we're animals and we're just receiving information. No, we're going to decide a pro-human future. We're going to decide to buy things from farms and factories where humans built it. We're going to decide to control our environment and not accept this big carbon tax system that's meant to make us accept the anti-human environment. So we have to decide our future now, our destiny now, with our actions and with our money and with our will, then push that and reject everything that Hollywood and the corporate media push. If you just, it's real simple. You can study it all day like I do and like Tucker does, and you can know all the nuances and fight it all day, which I want you to do because it's fascinating. Or you can just say, whatever Disney and whatever Viacom and whatever CNN tells me, I do the opposite, you'll do quite well doing that. (laughs) I should say, not to be dark, but human beings among other unique qualities are also the only species that commit suicide. You're right. Well, exactly. We have that paradox because we control our environment. What animal would think to commit suicide? Right. I mean, lemmings run off a cliff on accident. Buffalo do it, but they don't do it on purpose. Very well said. Exactly. So we have that heaven and hell. We have that potential of the little G God. We have the, the, what, I mean, what science fiction writers like Jules Verne's 140 years ago wrote about, like rockets that take off, go to the moon and come back and land again. Elon Musk has done it. Whatever we can envision it's not like Oprah's secret where it instantly happens, but with the potential of technology and society, and like Elon says, a big enough population, you need billions to build infrastructures that can do anything. And then once you realize the planet's tiny and there's hundreds of billions of galaxies that are close, I mean, we, we can see, then you go, oh my God, we're like embryonic right now. We're like a tadpole. And and, 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 and we're not just like, can we turn into a frog? We're turned into a butterfly that turns into a spaceship that turns into a god, basically. And, and, and so we're a tadpole right now. We can do anything. And they, they're trying to tell us, no, no, you're scum, you're ugly, you're racist, kill each other, because the globalists want to extract out of us that essence of infinity that God's given us, that God essence. We're not God, but we're little g. The, 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 the first book of the Bible tells us they want to extract that and use that for their life extension, their empowerment, their greedy control, instead of all of us sharing this incredible magic metamorphosis we're about to have. And they're trying to block the birth pains of what we're about to become, but I can tell them you're going to fail.